Hey, what's up guys and welcome to my latest tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be doing foot IK and foot rotation placement on the ground. So as usual, we're going to try and make it nice and quick condensed. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if you are using the UE5 mannequin, there is an easy tutorial on how to do this because the Unreal mannequin already has a control rig set up. So I'll link that in the description. I already went up and set up this SWAT guy character. Uh, it just has normal movement, jumping, everything that you would need. And this is probably where you are. And you probably noticed when you go up a hill, your character's feet aren't always on the ground. So this is what we're going to fix today. You'll also see when you're on like a rotating platform, you can really see it here. What you probably already did is you set up a basic um, animation blueprint for your character which should look something like this. Okay, so the first thing we want to check is if your character has a root bone on the ground. Uh, usually from Mixamo it shouldn't, but some characters do come with a root bone on the ground. And if you don't have a root bone on the ground, we just need a way to reference that location. So first off, we're just going to go into the hips and we're just going to use something called a socket. So you can just click on the hips bone and click on add socket and just call it hips socket. And then just press W to move this and we're just going to just place it on the ground. Which should be around there. So that's just to reference the ground in relation to your character. Okay, so after this is done, we're going to go ahead and create the eye carry for the character. This is where the magic happens. So you want to go and click on animation, eye carry, eye carry. And we just call this SWAT or IK underscore SWAT guy. And just select your character there. So you'll see you have your character here. Just go ahead and click on the hit and click on add new solver and click on full body IK. So that should work. And then also just go on your root burn of your skeleton, in my case the hips and just click on right click and say set root bone to selected solver right so the next thing we want to do is we want to put goals on the hat so we're going to go and scroll down and click on left hand and click on new ik goal and then we're going to go to the right hand and the shortcut is just control n but i'll just do this new ik goal and let's do the feet so you don't really have to do the hands, but maybe some animation you'll end up using this technique with it. But yeah, I just like to do the hands as well. So let's click on the left foot, click on new IK call, and then the right foot, click on new IK call. So you should have these calls now, and you'll see if we click on the hand call, you can move the hand, and it affects the body accordingly. And also, if we go ahead and click on the leg one, Let's try and just select the right foot one. You can see we can add it and it rotates a little bit weird, but we're going to fix that now. Okay, so to reset the position, just click there. So to fix that weird rotation, we're just going to go and see what bone is rotating weird. In our case, it's the hips. So make sure you click on full body IK here in the bottom and then right click and say add settings to selected bone. So if you click on that, we can also just adjust the rotation and position steps. So we're going to go and put this on some value like 0 0.9 and the position as well on 0 0.9. And then we're going to try again. Select the left foot goal. It shouldn't rotate. So the next thing we want to fix is we see the knees goes a little bit inward and it's nothing really natural. We can fix that easily as well by just doing the following. So let's just reset the position. So the bone that's rotating weird is this left leg, the knee bone, just under the knee. So to fix that is also pretty easy. We can just go and click on left leg and then also make sure this is selected. Click on that left leg or that lower left leg bone, whatever yours is called, and click on settings, add settings to selected bone. And do the same for the right leg. Make sure you select the right button. Now click on it 
and scroll down and see there's a tab called preferred angles. So we're going to click on use preferred angles. So now you're just going to play around with this values until you have something that works perfect. So let's see. This is the left leg one. So let's just pick it up a little bit. And then we can just rotate this one to so something we really like. So mine, in my case, is around, let's say, make it 5.5. And then let's just do it for the, for the other leg as well. Just reset. Pick this up to select use preferred angles make it minus five five okay so that should be a lot better right now you can test it a little bit With every character might be a little bit different but this should give you a good basis so i still don't like how the heap rotates there so i'm just going to go and make make it one see that's a lot better in my opinion and they needs to move a little bit just to make it natural so if you want you can also add another goal here at the hips and this will just allow your character to do like these jumping motions and stuff might come in useful later as well so let's just save that and move on to the next step and another thing we just want to do is just click on hips goal Expose position, leave the hands for now. Go to your left foot goal, expose position, and your right foot goal, expose position. Okay, so now we can move on to the animation blueprint. So your animation blueprint probably is looking something like this. You have your idle walk runs and jumping in your state, and you have a default slot for montage animations. You know, something similar like this. And then also here in the event craft, you should have something the final speed direction blah blah anyways so we can go ahead and just disconnect this pin and then drag out and insert i can read and then for i can read definition asset we just go and select our ik swap guy or whatever it was, was called so now you can go and just promote this to variable left goal position right goal position and then also your hip goal position. And now you can also go and click here on animation preview edition. Uh, it should be down here somewhere. And then you can also see if you drag this up, you can check preview. Just a little bit, still a little bit weird. So you can just go and adjust this. Maybe let's make it around six. Six should be fine. Try this one. Minus six. Right. That's a little bit better. So just reset that, put it back to zero. Okay, so now for the next part. So first off, we're just gonna go here, disconnect this pin, and then add a sequence here. Let's just get a value here first. Just search, drag off your cost out, insert his falling. You may as well also have a variable for this as well, but we're just going to do this for now. And then just drag off a branch node here. Let's make this not. Not brilliant. And then search here. Let's say character is not sky. Right, so here we can just go ahead and cast to your character. I'm going to speak the SWAT guy. Let's just get this node as well. Try get one owner. 
And what we're going to be using this for is getting the bone locations. So in order to get these values, we're going to have to do some sort of foot trace to the ground to see what exactly the offset should be. So what we're looking for is the Z value. So from your character, drag out and just get the mesh as well. And from here, we can just go ahead and create function. Let's call this foot trace. So for the foot trace functions, we need some sort of inputs. So for the inputs, we need a foot location. And we make this a vector. Then we make another one and we also need their lead location. That's that socket we placed earlier. And then for outputs, we're going to have the output called offset. And then we're also going to have a rotator called food rotation. Rotation. Okay, so to start with, let's do the foot location first. So we just want to say break vector, like F. And then also we need to do the break vector 3 So we also need to do some sort of line trace. So let's do clear trace by channel. So then just drag off here and say make vector. So you're going to use the X and the Y of the feet. And then we're going to use the Z of the root location. So let's go ahead and add around 30 should be fine. And that is your start vector. And then we're going to need another one for the end vector. So we again use the same X and Y of the feet. And then let's just go down a little bit. So let's minus around 50 should be. So that's our start and our end locations. Okay, so just also make the radius around 3. And now we're going to go ahead here and say break heat resolve. And then we're going to drag out the return value and also say select vector. So basically this is just for if it hits the ground, it should select this offset. And if it's not, it should select no offset at all. So what we're going to do to get the left foot goal position and right foot goal position we need to go ahead and su subtract the Z value of the root from the impact point location Z value. So we can just go ahead here and click on split struct pin. And then we're going to drag out impact point Z and subtract the Z value of the root here. And then we're also going to go ahead and say make vector. And then this by the Z value and plug that in A in. And then also just that one in there and make sure your return node is connected to your sphere trace by channel. So this should give you the correct offset for the next. Now for the foot rotation. So to calculate the foot rotation, we can just do some math from the impact normal. So we're going to drag off the pin from the impact normal and just say break vector 3F. And then we need to A tan to degrees nodes. So just duplicate this ones. So we're going to go ahead and drag the Y into that one and the Z into that one. And then we're going to drag the X into that one and the Z into that one. And then also we're just going to go ahead and multiply that by minus one. So we're not really going to go over the math here. Just note that this is the how to calculate the rotation based on the normal. And then we're also just going to go ahead and say make rotator and then just go into Y. Okay, so let's just also put in a select node in here and just say select rotator and then drag this one A and then make it zero. And then we just use this hit result as well. So if it hits the ground, it should rotate. And if it doesn't hit the ground, it should not rotate. And just compile and save those glitches. So just drag that in there. And that should give us the correct foot rotation on the ground. So now let's just go ahead and implement this. So from this one, we can do the foot trace. OK, 
go ahead and we need the locations of the feet and the root. So to get that, we just drag it off here and say get socket location. Then let's do it again, get socket location. And do it again, get socket location. So we need the left foot, the root and the right foot. So to get the left foot, we just go to the skeleton here and you search foot. So search left foot and that's the uh, copy selected bone names. Go into your AVP, copy it in there. Let's get the right foot, copy selected bone names, paste it in there. And now we need the root location, which is that bone we put on the ground, or the socket we put on the ground. And if your character has a root bone on the ground, then you can just use that one. But we're gonna use the socket. And then let's just go ahead in there, paste it in there, and then let's do the foot trace on the left foot first. So just drag that one in there, the root location there. So we should get the correct offset and the correct foot rotation. So let's just go ahead and say set left foot call position. And then let's also just use a V interp. So drag that left foot call position and get that. And just say V interp just for smooth motion. Drag that in there. And the target is this offset. Delta time is a good world. Delta seconds. And then the interp speed. Uh, let's just promote to variable. And then let's make it 15. That should be good. And then let's just drag that one in. And let's do the same for the rotation. So we just need two variables for the foot rotation. Let's call this L foot rotation and duplicate that and just call this R foot rotation. All right, so let's just do the same as well for this and do R inter two. The current is the R foot rotation. Now oh, we're doing L, sorry, L for translation. And then our target is this one. Delta time is get world delta seconds. And then interp speed is this interp speed one. Drag that in there and dragging that in there. So you should have the left goal position and the left foot rotation set up now. So let's do the right foot. So it's exactly the same. I'm gonna be using this foot trace function. Paste that in there. The foot location is the right foot location. And then the root location is that same root bone location. So let's just do the same here. We set the right foot goal position. we we'll get the right foot goal position. Then we're going to go ahead and say V perturb 2. Come on. Drag that in there. Target in there. Delta time is get world delta seconds. And then interp speed is this one. So just play that. I'll just drag that in there and then let's do the same for the right foot rotation so set that get that r in curve two that in the target get world delta seconds and then the inter speed is this one So drag that in there, drag that in there. Cool, so now we should have the right foot goal position and the left foot goal position in place. Um, another thing we wanna do is we just wanna set the values to zero if the character is in the sky. So it doesn't do any weird stuff. Let's just put another check in there. 
So let's just say set left for goal position, set right for goal position, set L for position, rotation, drag that in there, connect that all up. Okay, and the last thing we want to do is we just want to go to your anim grab and we want to put in two transform bow. Transform modify bone nodes. So just duplicate this one. To just click on this, the bone to modify is the left foot. This one is the right foot. Translation, can we set to ignore? Rotation map, rotation, we set to add to existing in world space. And then this one, we do the same. Translation is ignore, rotation mode is add to existing in world space. And then we just use these variables. So the left foot in the left foot and the right foot in the right foot. Cool, so that should be it. Hopefully we didn't miss anything. So let's just go ahead, save everything. Okay, so let's just press play. Okay, my character's feet is a little bit in the ground. So we'll fix that now, but it should be working accordingly. See the foot is rotating correctly, which is what we want. So let's just go ahead and fix that. So I think the fix should be if we just take this hip socket bone and just drag it up a little bit. So it's in between those two feet. A little bit too high. Drag it in the middle there. Cool. So that's working as intended. So yeah, you should just be able to play around with the values until you get the perfect result. But this is the base functionality and it should do the job. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something out of it. This is just a quick way to do this. And there is more complex ways to do this. But I found this working really nicely for my characters and my intended purposes. I've got the Mickey Mouse here as well. And it's doing the right things. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll take you in the next one.